Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code and today we're going to be talking about how to change the width of the mobile menu um, and this is specific to 7.1. So if we click over to the mobile view and we click to open the mobile menu you see it takes up the full screen um, and I saw a request for asking how can you change this so it only takes up some of the screen and you can still see the rest of my website behind it and so that's what we're going to work on today. So what you're going to do is go to Design, Custom CSS, and copy and paste the code provided below this video. And then we're going to go through and look at all of the different code and I'll explain what it does and how to change it. So let's flip over to the mobile menu and click Save here and open it up and you'll see this is what it looks like. This first section changes the width and size of your title. Now this will change it on the mobile menu here as well as when it's like when it's open and when it's closed it will affect the width um, so you can always delete that part of the code out however if you don't have it in um, it could stretch across the screen like this and go outside of the menu. Um, so this changes the width to be about 50% of the screen and then it reduces the font size as well um, so that it kind of fits better. But you can play with that code as you like. This is the width of this portion. So it's 60 VW, which means 60% of the viewing width. So 60% of the width of the screen. Um, so this will be responsive to different mobiles depending on the width of the mobile. So you can change this number if you want it to be a little less or if you want it to be a little more. Um, you can play with that number there. This section has the opacity um, come in in one second so that it's not just like a flash of screen. You'll notice as I close this and open it, the opacity kind of fades in and fades out. So that's what this does. You can change um, the number of seconds it takes for it to fade in and out. Um, and this is the opacity of that page. So this changes it to be this, almost like it has an overlay on it. What I've done is actually just change the opacity of it. So you can change that to be um, more kind of opaque um, or less. If you want it to be even more faint in the background, you can change that number there. This next section sets up the alignment of your navigation options here um, using Flexbox CSS. So this first one, Justify Content, is what sets the vertical alignment. So I have it set to Flex Start, which means have it set at the top of the navigation. If you want it at the bottom, you're going to put Flex End, and you'll see it drop to the bottom. Or you can put Center if you would like it to align to the center there. And then I also have the text aligning to the left. You can change that to the right or center, whichever you would like. And that kind of aligns it vertically and horizontally in there. You're not gonna to wanna to touch this section. What this does is if you have a folder like this, um, if we don't have this code, if I take this code out, you'll see that the actual, the, the folder behind my about page appears in here. So this just hides that um, so we don't see it until they actually click. If you have a button in the bottom, the width of that button is set here. So I have it set to the same width as the mobile menu, but you can make that more or less depending on um, the button that you have and the width of your screen. Okay. And then this last one, again, you're not going to want to touch that. That just sets your um, the minimum width of the button we're on setting it. Um, otherwise, it could make the button go too large or too small and not fit inside of the screen. So you don't want to necessarily touch that, that coat there. But there you have it. Once you've gone through and fixed up all the little numbers and bits, you're going to click save and you're done. That is how you change the width of the mobile menu in Squarespace 7.1. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you're watching this on my blog, make sure you sign up for the freebie in the footer so you can be notified when I post other tutorials.